Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Thursday, the 26th of November, in the 34th week of our ordinary time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Luke, and it's chapter 21, verses 20 to 28. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, you must realize that she will soon be laid desolate. Then those in Judea must escape to the mountains. Those inside the city must leave it. And those in country districts must take, not take refuge in it. For this is the time of vengeance, when all that scripture says must be fulfilled. Alas for those with child or with babies at the breast, when those days come. For great misery will descend on the land, and wrath on this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be led captive to every pagan country, and Jerusalem will be trampled down by the pagans until the age of the pagans is completely over. There will be signs in the sun and moon and stars, on earth nations in agony, bewildered by the clamour of the ocean and its waves. Men dying of fear as they await what menaces the world, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these begin to take place, stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, the writer of Luke focuses on the horror of the destruction of Jerusalem. And the Gospel at the beginning contains two elements of accurate historical facts. The first one is found in the words surrounded by military camps. And the second one surrounds the words, captives carried off to other nations. But then after this description, there is phrase after phrase, which is drawn from the prophets. And this is the biblical way of indicating that the destruction of Jerusalem is the fulfillment of the prophecies. This is the fate of Jerusalem for rejecting Jesus. Then in the next part of the gospel, we hear of the coming of the Son of Man, the glorious figure whom God will give all power and the writer of Luke promises we will see the Son of Man. The question is, when? And so it's with a real sense of hope that Luke writes these words. So mindful of this theme of hope through today's gospel, we might reflect in our time today what are the things that I hope for in my life at the moment? What are the things that give hope to my life? And mindful of those things, we might thank God for the hope that does exist in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone.